Hi, how are you today? So today we're gonna do a video live and we're gonna do a 3D cream foundation video. This is from Saint with one brush and we're gonna work on talk about doing full coverage cream makeup that's not heavy, that still looks like your skin. Um, but for those of us that want more of a full coverage look, stick around because I'm gonna show you how you can get that with just this brush. If you're new here, my name's Karen, welcome. So glad you're here to watch this video. This is gonna be a pretty in-depth tutorial. I will try to speed it along. We're gonna be doing um, a one application brush. This is called the Buff Brush. And I'm gonna explain why this brush is so great for full coverage. And then we're gonna be using this palette of cream contour and highlight foundation shades. We're also gonna be using some cream lip and cheek colors and some cream illuminator. So stick around, let's get going. At the very end, I will uh, answer questions. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the brush that I'm using today. This is called the Buff Brush, and this brush is a double-ended brush. It's made to work with the cream uh, makeup, the cream 3D contours and foundation. And why this one is so great for full coverage, for a fast full coverage application, is because of the bristles. They are very full, they're very dense, and when you go to use this brush, you're gonna use it more in a pressing or a stippling action. And what that does is when you use a brush in a, and you press your makeup on or stipple your makeup on, you're automatically going to be getting more coverage in that area. So let's go ahead and start by showing you this smaller end, and we're gonna pick up a highlight shade. This is what I call my camouflage or color corrector shade. And I'm gonna take the small end of this buff brush and I'm gonna tap it in to pick up some makeup. Then I'm gonna use it to tap and press on areas where I need to color correct or conceal. So here I have that sunspot, dark, large age spot. So I'm gonna go back in. There's a little bit of makeup on, but I wanna go back in because we're doing full coverage today. And I'm gonna press it on my chin where I have broken capillaries. So when you press makeup on, you're actually gonna get more makeup in that area and a fuller coverage, okay? Compared to swiping or even swirling or buffing the makeup, okay? So tapping back in, I'm gonna apply a little bit underneath my eye here, just a bit. I'm not even gonna really reload the brush. I'm gonna take kind of what was here and press it over. All right, so I've already done my eye makeup and my eyebrows just so we could focus on the full coverage and the brush technique. Tapping back into my camo shade and I'm just gonna go quickly now around my face and press my color corrector shade in areas where I need color correcting and some extra coverage. So this could be melasma, sunspots, rosacea, broken capillaries, redness, that kind of thing, okay? So that is good for that. So I have just done that with my um, small end of the buff brush by pressing it on. I'm gonna use the same side of this brush. I'm gonna go right into my cream contour. Now the contour shades are a little bit firmer than the highlights or the foundation shades. And so we're gonna press and tap it in. We're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna press the contour on with this brush. And if you like to contour up on your forehead, you can just press that in and then push it back up into your hairline. And we'll come back and we'll, we'll blend this together here when we're done. Okay, hi. <laughs> okay, so we are doing full coverage with the buff brush. So a little bit of contour to frame and to add some, a uh, little bit of, oh gosh, just to kind of lower your forehead if you don't wear bangs or if you have a taller forehead and you wanna bring that down to highlight the center of your face. We're gonna go ahead and contour our cheekbones and we're gonna use the same side of that brush, but instead of using it full on where I could get a very large wide band, I'm gonna tip it so that I'm really kind of using the angle of this brush. So if you can see, I'm coming in and I'm tapping in. So it just picks up on the side of that brush. Can you see the difference there? See how it's just loading that side? Now, I have color corrector here, and a lot of us have to have that because we have sun damage. But if you, wherever you have placed your color corrector shade underneath, you don't want to swipe over. So we're going to do continue to press. So I'm going to start out here by my ear, and I'm pressing 
and tapping and tapping, kind of darker up by your ear. I'm just pressing it up under. And then I can take the flat end of the brush and press over what's there to, and pull it up a bit just to soften that so it's not too harsh of a line. And again, we're gonna blend when we're done, but we don't wanna swipe where we have that color corrector underneath, okay? So we're putting our contour from the outside of our ear to about the outside of the eye, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and load that brush again. I'm gonna come in at an angle and tap it into the contour. So I've side loaded that. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Here on this side, I really don't have any color corrector right along my cheekbone, but I'm still gonna keep that same application of tapping and pressing it up underneath my cheekbone there like that, okay? And then to take the face of that brush and tap and press over and just do a little bit of pre-blending, a little bit of softening of that contour. I like to pull it up towards my temple just to soften a bit. So we don't wanna bring our contour in much farther than the outside of our eye. It's okay to see the tip of it. Let me do this side a bit more, we'll blend. But we don't wanna bring it down into the our face, our mouth area right in here, okay? So just coming down to highlight and to emphasize those cheekbones. So let's go ahead and contour the third place. So it's up on the forehead, underneath your cheekbones, and then down underneath your jawline to define your jaw from your neck. So I'm gonna take that brush and instead of side loading it, I'm gonna go back into pressing it and tapping it in. Again, remember the contour is much firmer and I can kind of blend and swipe underneath the jaw because we really don't have any makeup down there. So we're just gonna come underneath the jawline and we'll go back in, but it's much firmer than the highlights, which are a lot creamier. So you wanna just tap in to load enough on the brush and then bring it over here and go underneath your jawline. And then make sure with your contour, whereas with the contour up on our forehead, we pushed it up, contour on our cheekbones, we kind of blended it up. Underneath your jawline, you actually wanna pull it down and back, okay? So that you are bringing it a bit down your neck. And if you get some on the side of your face here, just use, we'll just pull it down again, just to kind of blend. So very simple, just a little bit of framing with our contour. And you can do as much or as little as you want with this brush by just building that if you need to. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is flip the brush over and I'm gonna use this larger end, which again, we're gonna do it in this pressing. And I'm gonna pick up my main shade, my main highlight shade. Um, when I color match you, you usually will be color matched to a contour and three highlight shades. You don't have to start with all three highlight shades. You can start with um, just two, but you have the option to be matched to three so that you always have shades that are gonna work no matter what, okay? So now we're gonna take this fluffy, or I should say fuller, larger side of this buff brush, and we're gonna tap it into the main shade and pick up some color. And continuing with our full coverage application, you're then gonna come in and tap and press it on. So tap, tap, and then press and tap this shade pretty much in between where you would normally put regular foundation, your main shade. Um, I don't need to apply it where the contour is. I'm not gonna go over the top of the contour. I'm just gonna fill in around that. And in some areas where I have my color corrector underneath, I may add a little bit over the top, but I'm mostly just tapping over with whatever's left on the brush. Okay, so let me go real quickly here. Um, as I go through this, I wanna remind everybody that at the end, I will go and I'll stay here and I'll answer any questions you have. So please feel free to type your questions in to the comments. Um, and for those of you who uh, like a more down and dirty, <laughs> fast uh, tutorial, you know, this one's gonna be kind of in between. It's not gonna be super fast, but I will definitely keep it moving. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're tapping into our main highlight shade and I'm doing and I'm just pressing and tapping on. Okay, so this is a much more full coverage application with this brush because of the bristles, how firm and how dense they are and how I apply it by pressing 
or stippling it on. I'm gonna switch over now and add a little bit of brightener, a pop of some bright shade in a few strategic areas. I'm just gonna use the side of the brush. I'm not gonna worry about this makeup that's on here. I haven't like, I don't have a ton on. Like I can rub it on the side of my hand, but really there's not any on here. I'm just gonna tap in and pick up some of that brightener. And I'm gonna tap it on the inside and down the side of my nose, inside of my eye and just down the side of my nose. So just a little bit of brightening right in there, okay? I like this two-sided brush. I love that it has a smaller end. They're matching ends, but one is much smaller, so you can kind of get in to these smaller areas. I'm gonna tap it in, and I'm gonna put some down. Again, kind of going on an angle here, and then face on. Just get used to the brushes, and don't be afraid to experiment with how much you put on and where you put it. That's what's so great about this makeup is that it's gonna be very uh, versatile and you're gonna be able to really mix it however you want. And it's gonna depend on what's going on with your face that day and how you're feeling and what's, you know, what, what your skin tone is looking like. So super easy that way. So we have already done everything that's in this top layer here. We've contoured, color corrected and concealed, and then your main shade, which is like your foundation shade, and then a, little, a brightener shade, just something to kind of pull forward. So now what I'm gonna do is blend this together so that it's not, there aren't any hard lines and just kind of seamlessly get the makeup to blend together. So we're gonna use the same side of the, the brush, this larger side, and I'm just gonna start by doing this pouncing and where the contour and that main shade kind of meets, I wanna, just soften that line. Make sure you always push your contour back into your hairline so that there isn't any distinction, okay? And this brush here is called the buff brush, okay? This brush is a unique brush. It's probably one that you may not have one like this in your normal makeup bag just because it's it's got a unique shape. But this brush is really great for a full, fast, full coverage. And what I'm doing right now is I'm not applying more makeup. I'm actually taking the makeup that's on my face already and I'm pouncing over it gently. <laughs> and I'm just moving it around and making sure that I don't have anything too heavy in one place or anything that's not quite blended in. So I'm just doing that. Now, the other thing we can do after we have used the brush is I love to use my Perfector sponge as a final blending. And you wanna use your Perfector sponge damp. This has been wrung underwater and then all the water squeezed out of it. And then I rolled it into like a paper towel and a dry, dry towel to get all the water out. And it's just been sitting for a while. So it's damp, but it's not wet, okay? And I'm just gonna use this now to do a final little tapping, and what I'll do is if I have makeup that's a little too heavy anywhere, or I'm seeing texture up here, or texture out here, sometimes I get real textury right here. I do a lot of exfoliating, but I still have some larger pores and a lot of texture around my mouth. So I like to take that. Can you see the makeup coming off there? So it's pressing it in and also just lifting just a bit in case I have too much somewhere. I don't want it, I want full coverage, but I don't want it to look heavy or cakey. And that's the key with cream makeup, is that you can get that full coverage, but you're not gonna look cakey or heavy, okay? So this was the buff brush, and we already did the main foundation shades. So let's add a little bit of color. This here, if you're new, this is um, the palettes that they come in. They are like a compact, okay? And inside they have um, the tins of makeup, a little mirror, and then this one happens to be called a number eight uh, because it'll hold eight full-size tins, okay? And on the second level it holds another four. So four and four or a combination of the eyeshadows, okay? So I have in here some lip and cheek colors. This is called Pink Grapefruit and this is called Desert Sunset and they're both cream. This is an illuminator, so I'm gonna show you how you can use these um, also. We're gonna pick up a little bit of the pink grapefruit. I'm gonna use this bigger side of the brush and just tap it in. 
and I'm gonna tap and pounce it right above my contour. Now, if you've noticed, I'm not cleaning this brush. These brushes are made to work with the cream foundation. So if you are applying by not swiping or putting too much makeup into the bristles, when you go to put it on your face, it should come off of the brush onto your face, and then you really don't have to worry about cleaning these brushes in between changing colors. You really don't, okay? So I'll put a little bit of the pink grapefruit on the cheeks. Um, I also like, I'm gonna switch to the smaller side of the brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this Desert Sunset and put just a little bit of this glossy kind of peachy color right down at the bottom, more on the apple of my cheek, just to kind of get a little bit of a, of a variegated <laughs> look. So it's a little bit of a peachy color down at the bottom, moving into that pink. Same thing, I'm gonna put some of this uh, Desert Sunset Shimmery, it's not really shimmery, it's more of a glossy on my lips. I like the glossy because it's a little bit more moisturizing. <laughs> it's not a satin or a matte like the pink grapefruit, um, but you can also mix them together. So again, you can mix and match your colors, your lip and cheek colors together. I'm gonna take my Perfector sponge again and I'm just gonna press my blush in. That's <laughs> a fun color combination. And then I'm gonna take that Perfector sponge and I'm gonna rub it into an illuminator. This is a rose, this is called Rose Gold. It's a cream illuminator. And I'm just gonna tap that right above my blush just for a little rose gold, kind of a, just a, a little sheer shimmer. It doesn't really have a ton of uh, opacity to it. The illuminators are very, sheer can you see that there let's see if i can put some on my nose so you can see it better i don't know can you see that shimmer when you turn so they're just a fun little extra shimmer that you can add to your face um, i like to just put them on with my perfector sponge just tap some on it also helps press it in and then if you get too much as well you can just flip a little area of your perfector sponge that's clean and again just press over anything that you feel needs a little extra blending um, in. So that is easy. And that is it. I have really full coverage. When you're done, you want to make sure that you set your makeup with setting spray. This is um, the Saint setting spray. It is water-based. And so you want to shake this up. It's important to use products that don't have a lot of silicone in them when you're mixing cream makeup with silicone, they tend to not like each other. It's not like you can't use products that have some silicone in it, but you just want the majority, you want your products to be more water-based than silicone-based when you're using them with cream foundation, okay? So I'm just gonna shake this up and I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. The key with this um, bottle is to really shake it and really pump it out when you go to use it. So. Just shake it and then give it a really good spray so that it comes out a little bit more in a mist. If you just half squirt it and try to just do a little tiny bit, it'll actually come out a lot heavier and dribbly. You wanna just really give it a good spray and then just let that dry and that'll help set your makeup and also gives it a little bit more of a dewy look. You can tap it in, just let it air dry. So just to recap, I wanna tell you what we did. We used the buff brush. So the buff brush is a brush that'll give you a fuller application. Why? It's because of the bristles. They're much more dense and compact. And when you use this brush, if you press it, or you could call it a stippling or a pouncing motion, it's going to put more makeup on in an area and give you fuller coverage, okay? Double-ended, we used, um, 3D foundation, if you are not familiar with this, it's all cream. So we used a cream contour, a cream color corrector or camo shade for some of the areas where we needed extra coverage, main shade and a brightener shade. Then the nice thing is, is that they're all magnetic. And so then you can pop in uh, your choice of lip and cheek colors, an illuminator. If you don't like that, then get extra eyeshadows. That is just so fun because they're all custom to what you want. And the best way to find out what works for you is by getting a color match. And so